Good morning, everybody. Today, I've decided to show you how to make whipped coffee. Uh, whipped coffee is a cold drink. Um, it's on ice. You don't have to make it on ice if you don't want it too cold, um, but it will be cold drink since you're adding quite a bit of milk to it and the whipped coffee part will be um, kind of cold, so yeah. If you don't enjoy cold drinks, then you can pass this on to people you know, or your caregivers, your friends, your family, whoever um, you think would like this. So to get started, the ingredients that you'll need to make this will be instant coffee. Don't use ground coffee because it won't mix well. Um, and it'll be very gritty when you drink it and it won't taste very good. So make sure it's instant coffee. You'll need granulated sugar, so it kind of look like this. There's other brands too you can use. You'll need hot water. I already boiled water and I put it in this cup because it'll keep it hot while I'm doing this video. You'll also need um, some milk or if you don't like milk, you can use water. Um, or if you don't use dairy, you can use almond milk or soy milk. You'll need ice cubes. <laughs> and in order to create it, um, the utensils that you'll need will be one tablespoon measurement, um, a whisk, you'll need a whisk, you'll need a mixing bowl. I already have a little bit mixed in here. I'm going to double my recipe, so that's why there's a little bit in here. Um, you'll need uh, a clear glass, doesn't matter what size you want. I have a little one because I don't have that much milk on hand. I think that's about it. Uh, okay, we'll get started. You got to measure out your instant coffee. You need two tablespoons of it. There's one. Two. You'll need to do the same thing with the sugar. So measure out two tablespoons of sugar. And you'll need two tablespoons of hot water. It's very hot. So one, two. So next you'll need to whisk this if you don't have a electric mixer. Uh, I don't so I need to whisk it by hand which takes quite a while. It takes about 10 minutes to do it by hand and you have to be able to really like whisk it really fast. Um, so if that's hard for you, you will need to ask for help for that. Um, but if you had an electric mixer, that's great. It'll be much easier for you to mix this than it is for me. <laughs> so I will pause this video while I mix this because you probably don't want to watch me mix this for 10 minutes. So be right back. I'm back. I whisked it. Took me 10 minutes to whisk that. <laughs> but it looks really nice. I also grabbed a spoon to be able to scoop it into the cup. But this is what it should look like when you're finished. Kind of looks like peanut butter. <laughs> but it smells like coffee. Okay. 
So you'll add, first you will add, put that over there, your ice cubes. I'll just add all of them. And you'll then add your milk or whatever um, liquid you have for a base. And then I'll add about half of the cup full. And then we will scoop the topping <coughs> on top. The uh, coffee topping. I think it looks really pretty. That's why I like this recipe. should look kind of like that. You can put more in so it kind of overflows um, and comes out the top just to make it look more presentable. <laughs> and you can mix it around with the milk. Maybe let it sit for a minute so it can get cold with all the ice cubes. And there it is. You can mix it better than I did, but yeah. That is whipped coffee. I'm not sure of the actual name. It's a European drink, but I just call it whipped coffee.